pretty amazing. We are the first hospital in the whole Kansas City area to have this technology, and we have not one but two of the robots. Yeah, I was talking to a couple surgeons from uh, Kansas City, and uh, they're actually um, they're excited to hear that we're getting them and that we have them now. Yeah, um, and that we're using them. They were asking me a lot about how it's going. I'm Dr. Nguyen with uh, General Surgery, and my specialty is minimally invasive surgery. Used to be laparoscopic, now robotic, so. I'm Dr. Auberger with urology. Uh, my specialty involves um, robotic surgery for prostate cancer and pelvic organ prolapse and partial nephrectomies. I'm Dr. Lynch from uh, gynecology and uh, specialize in uh, minimally invasive gynecologic procedures um, and uh, pelvic organ prolapse. I mean, the DV5, that's the talk of the town now. I was, I was at a meeting, uh, when was that? Two, three weeks ago, it's a one of intuitive sponsor meeting, and that's all they talk about. I mean, DV5, this DV5 that, they have 10 of them line up in the uh, auditorium and everybody go in there and try and try and try and I keep walking around bragging I have two. It's definitely much more ergonomically friendly and uh, the technology down the pipeline with the haptic feedback and then actually being able to in real time see some of the cancer, like for prostate cancer surgery, I think is gonna be really, really beneficial. I think the uh, integrated gas um, has also allowed us to eliminate some ports for patients as well, which mm -hmm. um, I think can be a real pro for our um, patient recovery, et cetera. Right. Yeah. It's pretty wild. Lots of our partners are adopting this technology too. And I'm, you know, I know, you know, before we had one robot, now we've gone to three and it's, it's amazing how uh, we're filling up most of the time with three robots here. I mean, I'm super excited to hear of new partners all the time that are trying to learn and, and uh, try new techniques with it. And um, I'm, I think it's a fabulous recruiting tool for uh, keeping good uh, docs in the area as well. Almost like a uh, recruitment tools. If you don't have them, it's hard to recruit them to come here. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a fact now. Every resident come out there training, they train on robot platform. Like we have two, uh, Mosaic High 2 for Maryville. They're both robotic trained. Right. And so, you know, unlike me, I have to go back in, re you know, train on a robot platform. But when they come fresh out of their training, boom, they, they robot train. I think that's the so, same for our specialties. It's, yeah. it's hard to recruit anyone unless you have robotic yeah. capabilities. And I feel like this kind of leapfrogs us towards the, the, the front of the whole Kansas City area in that regard. So. I'm super glad that uh, we had one here because I chose to come here partially because of the fact that we had it. Absolutely. Makes you proud to work here too, to kind of talk to your friends like you said in Kansas City and say, look what we have. Yeah. So. so just robotic surgery in general, much smaller incisions, um, quicker recovery time, less blood loss, better visualization of the field, um, able to do um, more fine-tuned maneuvers in smaller areas. So. Um, I know a lot of surgeries that used to be in the hospital three to five days are now leaving the same day or the next day thereafter. Yeah. Lots of gynecologic procedures used to stay three, four days. Uh, pelvic organ prolapse used to stay three days. And now same day, next day, patients are going home, small incisions. Um, we're almost having to hold them back so that they're not doing too much in their recovery period. At first I was keeping people overnight and then I was like, I don't even need to keep you overnight. You can, you right. can, you can go. Yeah. Like that was just eye opening to me, like how well they did, you know? Now I'm, I'm very big with laparoscopic surgery. Now for folks who don't know what the different robotic versus laparoscopic, laparoscopic, very similar. It's a small incision, but I basically have a straight instrument that I control and my motion is basically just a rotation of that instrument and the jaw open and, open and close. With a robot, now a lot of people think it's run autonomously, it's not. We still control them, okay? We sit at a console over there, we control the robot. But the level of articulation of the risk is amazing. And of course the, the visualization is, we actually see 3D when we do robotic surgery, there's, there's two lens in the camera that allow us to see 3D, three-dimensional, versus laparoscopic is on two-dimensional. Um, so 
by far, I think robotic surgery is the way to go for the future, so. I think initially they were a little hesitant. Uh, like you said, they're afraid of this autonomous thing operating <laughs> on them. Um, but I think that almost anything now, patients are expecting it. They're mm -hmm. expecting that this is, uh, this is the level of um, expertise that we're providing with and they're expecting better outcomes. They're expecting shorter hospitalizations because they frankly know that robotic surgery exists yeah. now and that right. it's creating better outcomes. So yeah. I think that it, um, if anything, it's providing us with the uh, high level of care that patients are expecting. And we have lots of patients that would come in asking for it. And when it was something we didn't offer, it was, it hurt to see those patients leave this area. Right. So, um, especially with, you know, prostate cancer surgery, the outcomes are just night and day different. Right. So same with any kind of pelvic surgery, I feel like. Right. So, um, yeah, I'm just seeing patients come in asking for it. I don't know if that's how you guys are in yeah. general surgery. Well, robotic surgery, originally it was designed for prostate surgery, uh, because it's so hard to do such a minute, fine suturing in such a small, confined, deep pelvis uh, space. And as the, as the technology improve and get more advanced, um, we can apply robotic surgery across the whole spectrum of general surgery. So yes, I have patients come in and say, hey, you do robotic hernia repair? I say, yes. Um, uh, or any, any laparoscopic surgery that can apply in general surgery can be done with robotic. It's decreased uh, bleeding, decreased infection risk. I mean, there's there are outcomes that are just in general improved by robotic technology. Now, obviously the specific training of the surgeon does matter. And like you said, there's a learning curve for how to um, utilize the tool to the best of its ability. But I mean, really truly, as far as like patient outcomes, when we think about a enlarged uh, multi-fibroid uterus, you know, these are five, six, seven, 800 grams now, and we're taking them out minimally invasive instead of a large incision where they're staying three, four days. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, as far as, uh, you know, risk of complications to patients, anytime you can eliminate a major incision, I mean, that's a massive improvement to their outcome. I think it's lowered complications, um, particularly from prostate cancer too, uh, because you're working in such a fine area where, you know, a few millimeters one way or another, there's important nerves that go to the uh, penis for erections and that control your pelvic floor muscles. Um, so it's allowed me to visualize those and, and, and walk that fine line uh, between getting the cancer out and preserving sexual uh, and urinary function. I've been practicing here almost 20 years. Um, so when I was in residency uh, down in Kansas City, that was the very, very first generation of robot. I hated it. Saying look at it, it looked a ginormous freezer, and it, it, it looked ridiculous. And the, the level of articulation, it's just very cumbersome. In fact, when I start working here, within a year or two, the administration approached me and said, what do you think about robot surgery? And at the time, I said, don't get it. <laughs> don't get it. Don't get it until about four years ago. And then technology, of course, get better, all the advancement. Is, and they say, yeah, get it. And here we are when the DV5 come out. Yes, yes, it, get it, get it. Yeah, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on board, so.